Kick names, take ass. Have you ever heard of a more impressive war cry? Me neither. These words have won countless hearts and have a broad spectrum of fans over the years. She is the Guardians of the Galaxy's strange and mysterious empath. She can feel and manipulate people's feelings, making her an invaluable member of the team. But Mantis is more than meets the eye. She may look like a delicate and harmless creature, but her anatomy tells a different story. In this video, we shall dive deep into the unique physiology of this empathic alien. From her mesmerizing antenna to her striking eyes and enigmatic abilities, Mantis is a character who defies easy categorization. In this video, we will gain a greater understanding of the intricate details that make Mantis such a fascinating figure. Whether you're a devoted Guardians of the Galaxy fan or just want to know more about her, this video is the ultimate guide to all things Mantis. So make sure you stick around till the end. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Sleep. Exploring the true roots of Mantis, what is her species? Mantis, the bug-eyed beauty from Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2 has had fans buzzing with curiosity about her species. With antennae and eyes that would make any insect proud, it's easy to wonder if she's just a human with a bad case of bug-itis. But hold on to your fly swatters because the truth is far more interesting. While her name and appearance might suggest she's a mutated bug person, there's evidence to suggest otherwise. In Ego's grand plan, for himself, he was seen surrounded by countless women, one of whom looked just like Mantis. This hypothetically implies that Mantis is likely just one of the many members of her species, which may hatch from larvae into humanoid forms. But if you're a die-hard comic book fan, you might be in for disappointment. Mantis's original incarnation in the comics was a seemingly normal human with telepathic abilities. What a buzzkill. With such discrepancies between the comic book and movie versions, it's hard to draw conclusions about the Mantis species. However, in the Gardens of the Galaxy Christmas special, Mantis finally spills the beans in her true origins. While trying to make Star-Lord's Christmas special, the team plans to kidnap none other than Kevin Bacon for Quill's gift. But when Mantis is questioned on her extreme tactics, she drops a bombshell revelation. She's not just a former orphan taken in by Ego, but she's his daughter. That makes her part celestial and Star-Lord's half-sis. While this sheds some light on her parentage, the specifics of her species remains a mystery. Ego appeared to women in a form that they could relate to, so it's likely that the mantis-like woman seen in his memories was Mantis's mother. But what species did they belong to? Unfortunately, it's still unknown, and it's possible that they're all simply known as Mantis. Not Nonetheless, at least now we know who Mantis's daddy is. Yes. <laughs> what is the true extent of her empathic abilities, and how do they work? Mantis is a unique and powerful individual in the Marvel Universe, possessing a remarkable ability to sense the emotions of those around her. As an empath, she is able to pick up on the feelings and moods of others through a simple touch, causing her antenna to light up like some sort of biotech mood lighting. This makes her an invaluable member of the Guardians of the Galaxy, as her abilities can help the team in a variety of ways. This makes her an incredibly valuable asset in battle, as she can put powerful enemies out of commission, giving her allies an advantage. Her ability to feel emotions can have a profound impact on those she interacts with, making her an important member of the team when dealing with individuals who may be against their efforts. Mantis's empathic abilities are not without their downsides, though. When she experiences the emotions of others, she feels them deeply, often to the point of being overwhelmed. This was demonstrated when she felt the intense grief and sadness of Drax the Destroyer, causing her to weep even as he remained emotionless on the outside. The bodies in the caverns, who are they? You are scared. <laughs> Can Mantis manipulate emotions as well? Mantis possesses anthokinesis, a rare and powerful skill that allows her to affect the emotions of those around her. She can change somebody's emotional condition simply by touching them, making a sad person happy or calming an angry one. She has the ability to make individuals passive to the point of unconsciousness. She can use her abilities to put even the most powerful beings to sleep, such as when she relieved Ego of his trauma 
and helped him relax and guard him to Galaxy Volume 2, and because of this ability, she is a significant hero who can defuse stressful circumstances or appease deadly opponents. Another impressive use of Mantis' powers is her sleep inducement ability. With a simple touch, she can cause a person to fall asleep almost instantly, rendering them completely docile. This technique is so powerful that it can even incapacitate a celestial in a state of rage. However, it requires a great deal of willpower on Mantis's part as controlling such a powerful being can be incredibly difficult. Mantis's pathokinesis and sleep inducement abilities make her a fierce warrior in battle. She can manipulate the emotions of her enemies to throw them off balance or put them to sleep to render them harmless. In addition, her powers can be used to help her allies, calming them down in tense situations or inducing sleep to allow them to rest and recover. Mantis! Look out! Mantis's physical and mental capacity. Mantis is a master of her own body with complete control over every aspect of her physical being. Her agility is at peak human levels and she can even accelerate her own healing through sheer power of will. Her empathic nature allows her to interact telepathically with the Kotati and feel the emotions of others in the form of psychic waves giving her an upper hand in the tea. What's more, Mantis can control her own heart and respiratory pace as well as her blood flow giving her complete mastery over over her own body. She is also an expert in the priest's ancient martial arts that focuses on nerves and pressure points. With this knowledge, she has been able to overthrow beings as powerful as Thor with a single touch. Mantis's two antennae that appear from her head boost her telepathic and empathic powers, giving her an even greater edge in combat and communication. And after joining the Kotati race, she gained new abilities like communicating with both animals and plants through biopathy. In addition, Mantis can live in space that is physically solid energy or celestial form, and she can even transfer herself from a plant to plant across intergalactic distances or interdimensional space. Her mind is a hybrid that is immune to psychic and metaphysical attacks and can interact using telepathic impulses that affect all of the receiver's senses. But that's not all, since her reincarnation, Mantis has earned even more abilities. She can now shoot powerful pyrokinetic blasts and create energy shields, providing her with immense attacking and defensive skills. She has complete control over her personal energies as well as her physical form and can interact directly with cosmic creatures such as eternity and death. I can make a stubborn person compliant, but I mostly use it to help my master sleep. Is her comic book version a lot more powerful? The intersection between the movie and comic book Mantis's powers is fascinating. Both versions of the character have the ability to sense the emotion of others, but the cinematic Mantis can only do so through physical contact, while her comic book counterpart has a broader range. Comic book Mantis can not only sense emotions, but also physical pain, magic usage, and hidden mystical presences. She has even developed precognitive abilities, allowing her to see possible futures and recent events. While the MC you Mantis may not have the same range of psychic powers as her comic book counterpart, she makes up for it with her impressive martial arts skills and heightened physical abilities. She is stronger, faster, and can endure more than any normal human. Comic book Mantis, however, can phase in and out of time to recover any injury through meditation, thanks to her control over her body. She also has biopathy, a power she's used to manipulate the physiology of beings like Groot and even make telesensual schematics, but it doesn't end there. Upon learning that she's the Celestial Madonna, comic book Mantis discovers even more powers. She can place her body in suspended animation while her psych travels great distances, create proxy bodies from plant life anywhere, and manipulate star energy. However, her two greatest abilities are her power to bond with a cosmic being, Eternity, and her ability to use her empathy to bring balance to the universe. With such an extensive range of powers, it's no wonder Mantis is such a formidable hero. <laughs> Did the MCU cut some of her insane powers? The deleted sequences from Avengers Infinity War reveal the full extent of Mantis' abilities. Mantis and her fellow Guardians are left floating in space after Thanos' devastating strike, unconscious and powerless. Fortunately, Spider-Man saves the day and returns them to safety on the ground, but it is Mantis who emerges as the true hero of this sequence. 
she is able to awaken her fellow gardens from their sleep state and assist them in recovering from the painful event thanks to her healing skills. However, as part of the Mad Titan's ultimate scheme, they are later converted to dust. This demonstrates that her talents extend well beyond only sensing and manipulating emotions, as she also possesses excellent healing abilities. But this deleted scene serves as a reminder that Mantis has much more to offer in the MCU than what we've seen so far. Mantis's impressive jumping ability is just the tip of the iceberg, talking about her powers. The revelation in the holiday special that she is Ego's daughter could restore her healing skills from the Infinity War deleted sequence and would be a true game changer. But it isn't all, Mantis's astral projection and camouflage skills from the comics could be explored in the MCU Phase 5, making her the most powerful garden out there. It's not just Mantis who's getting a boost in the ongoing MCU multiverse epic. Groot has all grown up and looks stronger than ever, while Kraglin has now taken control of Yondu's arrow in Phase 5. The fact that both Quill and Mantis are the kids of a Celestial opens up new avenues for introducing new powers from the comic books, making for an exciting future for the Guardians of the Galaxy. Beautiful people never know who to trust. Well... Then I'm certainly grateful to be ugly. Can Mantis rip juice? Mantis is well known for her exceptional martial arts abilities and empathic powers, but what truly sets her apart from other Marvel characters is her remarkable reproductive history. Although it is unclear if she can rip juice in an oviparous form like her larvae form, there is evidence that she has an unconventional method of childbearing. In the comics, Giant Size Avengers issue number 4, Mantis marries the swordsman and leaves Earth to mate with only their spirits departing while their physical bodies remain behind. Mantis's spirit mates with a Kotati spirit and returns to Earth to give birth. However, in order to provide a suitable womb for the embryo to survive, Mantis has to create a simulacrum, a body constructed from vegetation. After carrying the child for months, Mantis gives birth and lives alone with her child. Unfortunately, the Kotati people take the child for Mantis to develop its plant form. Later on, when Mantis becomes an Avenger member and learns of Vision and Scarlet Witch's separation and the loss of their children, in a private conversation with Vision, Mantis expresses her feelings for him and the two make love, further showcasing her biological desires. I can also alter emotions to some extent. Is Mantis immortal? Unlike many other heroes, the answer to this question is no. Mantis has met her unfortunate end multiple times in the comics, with one of her demises coming at the hands of the Magus. The Magus was able to anticipate Mantis using her mental powers to take him down and struck her and her fellow psionic Cosmo with a devastating energy blast. However, her death in the movie was at the hands of Thanos, who simply snapped his fingers, causing Mantis to disintegrate along with half of all life in the universe. Don't forget where we came from. Where can we see Mantis going ahead in the MCU? Gardens of the Galaxy Volume 3 is an exhilarating and bittersweet ride for the beloved team, marking the end of an era. Despite the Gardens core remaining intact, several key members decided to leave the group, opening up a world of possibilities for their futures. Star-Lord and Mantis in particular are left with endless potential as they embark on separate journeys across the galaxy. While Star-Lord heads back to Earth, Mantis's curiosity leads her to explore uncharted territories, paving the way for her exciting future. With both characters unburdened by their duties to the Gardens of the Galaxy, their paths are wide open, making them the ultimate wildcard players in the MCU. Mantis is a hero in her own right, and after helping Quill come to terms with his past, she decides to focus on herself for once. With a desire to figure out who she really is, Mantis chooses to leave nowhere on her own. Declining Drax's offer to accompany her, she instead embarks on a journey with the three abolisk creatures she saved from the High Evolutionary Ship, opening up a world of possibilities for the character. With the cosmic universe expanding in the MCU, Mantis could potentially encounter other heroes and play a role in major events. Given her experience working with the heroes of Earth, she could be an ideal ally for Nick Fury and other human heroes. In the comics, Mantis goes through a celestial Madonna arc, which could be a fascinating path for her on-screen incarnation to explore and reach her full potential. Wait, so does that make you my sister?
In conclusion, Mantis in the Marvel Cinematic Universe has brought the character to life in a way that has captivated audiences around the world. From her quirky and endearing personality to her remarkable telepathic abilities, Mantis has become a beloved and integral part of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Through her interactions with the other characters in the film, we see the importance of empathy, understanding, and connection in overcoming adversity and achieving common goals. Moreover, the exploration of Mantis's backstory and character development highlights the potential for even the most unlikely heroes to make a difference in the world. As the Marvel Cinematic Universe continues to grow and evolve, we can look forward to seeing more of this fascinating and dynamic character and the impact she will have on the stories to come. If you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.